Is that a drop? Yeah. Here, he's on it, he's on it. Yeah, I got him. Got it. Yes! Woo! He's massive, that one Dad's got. He's huge. But you can see there, that's just gone past there, a nice bit of weed. Nice bit of weed on the bottom. So I normally stick between... Point him away, that's a Woo! monster! Yeah, that's what I call yeah. a squid! Look at that. Hell yeah! Hey guys, Spoonie here from Fish and Boat Magazine on this uh, chilly, cold Cap Coast morning. It was um, getting down towards zero this morning. So what are we doing over here? Uh, we are going to be chasing some tiger squid today. So we're going to walk you through all the te tips and techniques uh, that you'll need uh, to come over here and do well. So I've talked to a few of the lads up and down the coast. So wherever you get tiger squid, um, the, the techniques that we use are, are working in all those different areas. So if you're if you're not around, you know. CQ or the Cap Coast, you might be down a bit uh, down south or up north a little bit. It'll still work, so make sure you you get out there and, and, and give it a go. So, all right, first of all, run through a, a few <coughs> simple things that you'll need. The first one is a uh, is a good little squid net. Second tub to put your squid in. A deck wash is really really handy because they uh, they do make a mess. Um, if you don't get it right, uh, just yeah. As soon as if you get ink on the boat, get the uh, get the deck wash out, get a rag out, bang, get get straight onto it because it will stain and stain really well. So, but the more you do it, the um, the better you'll get at it, and the and the better you'll get at keeping your boat clean as well. So, you bloody should be cleaning the boat up too. You, you did this. The squids are on. And it'll be a quick fucking tea, a bit of tea the old man needs a bit more practice in bringing squids in, don't you? Yeah, oh, just a bit, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't look at the camera either. <laughs> Have a look at it. Have a look at most of the squid dog here. Yeah, idiot. Alright, you don't need anything too, I would say, technical. Uh, so all we got here is a little little 2500 Sienna with a 10 pound braid. And this here, have a look at that. Eh? That's painting too, so you can't copy that. Don't steal that idea. Just a couple of cable ties there. <laughs> Keep the jigs in place. And this is a, just a Veritas, Avia Veritas, uh, one piece, six to eight foot. And it's a four to eight kilo, you don't even need that big, you can go a lot smaller as well. So, so we do have uh, a little bit of uh, fluorocarbon on here. Um, you're not, not really that important. I've tied an FG there, but you know, you're only running light drag pressure for squid, so you know, double uni, just as long as it's going to keep it connected, it will be fine. So, why do we use uh, fluorocarbon? And the reason is, it's actually not for the squid. It's actually for when you're uh, when you're tasting the squid, you'll get these little mungle like war netting cod, even little trout stuff like that will come out and grab your jigs, and they'll take you back into the reef. So that's just a little bit of insurance to try and to try and get your jigs back because um, these are Yamachita warm jacket squid jigs. Uh, you can see that's been pretty well chewed, so that's a that's a red hot little favourite there. Um, but yeah, so you will, they'll come out and grab them and they'll go back and those, these are about 20 bucks each so you want to do everything in your power to, to be able to get them back. So, and I think, I guess the, the fluorocarbon does act, um, it's a, probably a little bit more invisible in the water, um, which will help, you know, when the squid are really finicky and normally I'll have like a, a little, you know, size three uh, clip on there. Wayland's phone's ringing. Uh, yeah, we'll have a size 3 clip on there and we just change it between squid jigs. When they're real finicky, I'll go back to a loop knot. Uh, the, the clip just helps you change, you know, change out your, your, your jigs really quick. So, yeah, so the Yamashita Wall Jacket Squid Jigs uh, are my absolute favourite. Like my confidence squid jigs. 
Uh, I've talked to heaps of people about these and they're like, oh no, I had to go me $5 Kmart specials, I go over there and bang squid all day and that's fine. You know what I mean? Like whatever works. So if that's your confident squid jig, that's what you use. These are mine. Um, I pay the money for them because I know that they work really well. Um, yeah, so that cloth on the outside, uh, I thought it was actually crap when they first, when I first did um, research into this, I thought it was a load, of, a load of crap. I'm like, oh, this body cloth is supposed to turn, you know, the light, the available light, and, and, and transfers it into a heat. So that will be, with that warm jacket, will be about a degree warmer in the water. And that's to, <clears throat> it's, uh, it, looks, uh, it looks like a bait fish to, to the squid. And it does work. Like I've, I've put these up against heaps of different uh, squid jigs and these always seem to come out on top. So, and they do have a little bit of a rattle in them. That rattle is supposed to be uh, what the squid like. And yep, yeah, so well worth the money, I believe. Right, oh, so what we're gonna go through now is we're actually gonna go through the techniques that we use uh, in theory first and then we'll apply them practically so the first one is slow trolling like slow trolling for them back when I was learning uh, I never did this I just cast all day and it just used to drive me nuts and I'd come over here it was so frustrating like people think that squid are a dumb animal and it took me I don't know how many trips like I'd come out here and you know I'd do a day I'd get one then do the next trip get none and um, was show, I was shown the slow the slow trolling technique and it just changed everything how we how we go about chasing them. So what we do, like we're in the cruise craft today, like if you bring a tinny over here with an electric motor, that's probably the best setup that you can bring over here to chase squid because as soon as you find them, you hit the spot lock on your electric motor and then you know then you can just start braining them. And if you've got guys on board who are in the know, you can get numbers very quickly. So we're over here in the cruise craft today. One because it's cold freezing and we've got a cabin and a bit of protection and um, and two I just want to show you is that it is it is possible to, to squid really well out of out of cabin boats like six meter boats uh, six seven meter boats you know what I mean you can bring them over here and and do as well as the guys that are um, bringing their tennies over so so yeah slow trolling so we just you cast them out the back and then obviously just if your boat idles too fast then you have to be in and out of gear a little bit um, I've actually got a an old an old Optimax, so it's it's fairly noisy, eh? Fairly noisy, fairly smoky, and it still works. You know what I mean? Like the, the squid will come up and hit the jigs, no worries. I, I tend to probably feed them out a little bit more, get them away from the boat a little bit, but uh, but it still works. So so we use a slow trolling technique to find them, and then once we found them, that's when we'll turn turn the motor off, and then we'll start casting casting at them, and. So there's a couple of things, so if you've got two or three blokes on board, you'll, uh, you'll have one hooked in the water and the biggest piece of advice is to leave one in the water at all times. So you leave them in the water, leave one in the water that's hooked, it'll hold the school with it. So what you, you're essentially going to do is you're going to leapfrog. So you hook that one, you get it to the back of the boat. Even if you can't see that there's any squid there, they, they might be sunk down a little bit deeper and you might not be able to see them. So always keep that in mind so you pull that one in the second guy will get his jig his jig and he'll cast in behind that that squid if they if they're blowing ink at the same time that's even better throw it in where they've blown ink and just let that jig sit, sit start sinking down behind it and then you get, let it sink down a couple little hops and then generally they'll grab it on the sink too so don't go too violent with it sometimes it can spook them um, and then when that second one gets gets hit and the squid takes off that's when you wind that that first one in scoop him up in the bucket and, um, and keep going so when that next squid gets close to the boat then you cast in behind that one and if you've got three guys in there you can leapfrog them like that and you can get numbers in the in the boat really quickly so that's um that's the best way that we've found to go about it so the slow trolling technique is is nice and cruisy uh, you can kick back and yarn put the tunes on and just off you go it's 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 a very relaxed way of doing it you can also um you can cast if you want you can pull up on your shallow banks and you can cast that that will still work but i, I can guarantee you like a full day of casting and it'll it'll do your head in, especially if you don't get many so that slow challenge is kick back and um but there's there are places over here that we will pull up 
and specifically cast it just seems to work better and that's what it's all about you know like you're, you're moving around you vary your techniques and you'll find out what works in, in each different area so and then the other one is actually we'll drift so we'll pull up and we'll just use the current or the wind and we'll just we'll flick the jigs out and we'll actually j just drift across the areas uh, sometimes it gets the jigs down a bit deeper if the if the scooter holding deeper you get the jigs down and jig them close to the bottom and, and that's worked as well um, and like I said before it's all about trial and error and, and coming up with new ways to do it so one one way that I come up with was actually a combination of both so you know like you can slow troll along and if you've got really really keen guys on board you slow troll along next to an island and you can have those jigs out the back trolling and you can get one bloke there with another another rod casting into the uh, into the island itself so I've seen it many times before where we're getting nothing on the troll and then all of a sudden the guy uh, that's casting into the island nice and shallow will hook one and he'll pull that school out and then bang all of a sudden the the, the troll jigs they'll go off as well so yeah you, there's no wrong way you just have to just keep trying different things and um and, and keep making your um your technique better and you know it'll it'll show through your results all right gonna uh gonna bust a couple of myths here and the first one is that you need to come over here and and squid at night so you know you come over here you put your deck lights on you put your squid light down um that's a complete myth because i've never done it like i come over here during the day and i i get all my tiger squid during the day so it does work like don't get me wrong you come over here at night put the lights on they'll, they'll come up to it but you know like we come over here during the day uh, it's nice and cruisy and and yeah, we, we do well with it. Uh, the second myth to bust is uh, tiger squid are only a winter species. Uh, I used to think this, so you win at winter time you'll get your better quality, you'll get your bigger squid because it's it's breeding time. Like most of those big tiger squid that you bring in uh, will be full of eggs, so that's it's breeding time. Um, but some of the best sessions we've had have actually been during summer, like around the full moon especially. Um, yeah, they've just actually gone off their tits, so <laughs> so to speak, but. Uh, yeah, so that's just bust a couple of myths, and that's probably enough with me yabbering at the moment. It's um, it's prime time for squid. We're over here at beautiful Humpy Island today, so we're going to employ these techniques, and uh, hopefully we can get a few squid on, on camera for you. All right, I hope you can hopefully you can hear me over the motor, but we're uh, ready to go now. A um, couple of things I missed was drag pressure is very important, so keep your keep your drags nice and loose. Um, otherwise, you'll, you'll, if you've got it too tight, you'll pull the jigs out of squid or you'll, and, and you'll bend the prongs on the jig as well. So a nice light drag pressure. Just let them run. They're not going to brick you. So just let them run, do their thing, wind them in nice and gently. Uh, you'll see in this video anyway, and we'll walk you through that. What was the other thing? You can't remember. Oh, check this out. This is Waylon. How you going, guys? He is the mastermind behind River to Reef Fishing Charters. And... He does squidding charters. Certainly so, do. <laughs> so make sure you look him up and uh, you can book a squidding charter with you with him if you want. But um, yeah, definitely a mad squidder. Yeah. Can, can catch a squid this lad. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. There was another thing I was gonna say, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, so anyway. So we got three rods, two of us today, so if all three of them go off, we're gonna probably be in big trouble. But um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you can hear me over that motor. Um, yeah, we're at Humpy, as you can see, sun's just coming up, so it's prime time, and this is one of the most reliable places on Keppel for squid, so this area, so there's, from that sort of point there, up to that point there, hopefully you can see with the sun, is a, is a very, very good place, and even on the, uh, down on the sort of southwest corner point down that way, we've got got good squid around that bloody sandy point there around the other side yeah good squids as well so squid jigs out and we're gonna we're gonna cruise along and uh have a look at it through uh most of the time i just use a sounder to to see what's on the bottom i mean you can look in the water and see what's on the bottom but a good side imaging sounder like your hummingbird helix is uh very handy you can see all your rocks and rubble out to the side but even on your down scan sometimes you'll see actually squid come up on your down scan 
uh, and it's always good to see uh, weed. If you can see like rubble like that with weed on top of it uh, and a nice broken ground, that's uh, that's red hot. So it's always good to have a, a good sounder. It's not um, not imperative, but uh, but it does help. So we're going to start our slow troll up here now, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get a few. All right, we're doing a nice slow troll. We've just flicked them out about a, a pass length behind the boat. Three uh, three rods running. We've just got them in the holders at the moment. But you can see there, that's just gone past there. A nice bit of weed. Nice bit of weed on the bottom. So I normally stick between oh, about half a meter and about four meters of water for a squid. And uh, we're just heading in here, nice and steady. And uh, hopefully we'll get a couple. You can leave them in the holder like that, um, or you can sort of grab them out of the holder. And if you just give them like nice little jigs like that, you'll actually get the uh, the rattle working. So if they're sitting in the rod holder, it won't work, but you get that rattle working which can uh, can alert the squid that you know your jigs jigs not far away and they'll come up and grab it so a couple in the rod holder you know grab one give it a few jigs as you're going along and uh, see what happens hopefully you can see into the water here you can see the sand in between it you can see that broken reef uh, bro broken rock and on top of that, I don't know whether you can see it, is actually is weed. You can see it in the water, and you can see it on the sounder there as well. So that is prime, prime squid country. So trying to get to ourselves a squid here at the moment. So we'll do some more trolling, and if that doesn't doesn't work, then we will um, we'll try a few different techniques, maybe. Uh, Bit of casting or uh, or drifting through the deeper water, so around that four or five meter mark. All right, so we've um, had no success with slow trolling, so we've pulled up and we've drifted, and so you can see the squid out there. He's coming in and whaling. It's just uh, coming in, but he's just cast in behind that squid just to see if there's any more with him. And we're, like I said, we're uh, we're at Humpy there. I can't see, I can't see any any with him. Might just be a loner. Yeah, we always cast. Always leave that one in the water, and normally you'll see maybe another six or seven or a ten of his mates with him. So. All right, so this is important at the net. So when you're bringing them in, don't point them at the boat. He's only sort of about a medium sort of squid. Face him away from the boat, come in behind him, net him, and he's just, yep, there he goes. So you see he's got rid of that ink there and he's, uh, he's nice and empty now. So we'll just pull that jig out. There we go, and that's the old, old war horse got him. Yeah, Yamashita warm jacket. So one squid on the board already. And uh, yeah, so good times. And we'll uh, we'll keep going. Hopefully we get a few more. So the cast got that one. We'll um, keep trying that technique. All right, so just a pretty valuable lesson here. So we got our first one on the cast at about seven o'clock this morning so we've had location changes when we've varied all our techniques and yeah we're struggling we found a couple of patches that we sight cast and they're real finicky so we couldn't get there we've just got a couple now but you have a look at that it is now 12 30 so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that's that's five hours of squidding and you know nothing in the box so it's about that persistence and, and trying different techniques. So we've got a couple here. Nice wind knot there for whaling. We've got a couple here and they're not big. They're not big by any standards, especially the, you know, but the winter's tigers that we normally get. Can't get them in the sun. But um, the change was to go from 
<coughs> this jig here, which is a 3.5 uh, size, down to this little guy here, which is only a, a two, you know what I mean? And that's the one that got the first squid. And then we we're able to get get one in behind him and, and got another one before they uh, before they bugger off. So it is definitely it's definitely a tough day. Some days you'll come over and you'll brain them straight away. You'll get straight onto them and straight into them. And then other days it takes hours, you know what I mean? Like to try and find to, to try and try and find some schools and patches and, and all that sort of stuff. So you know you got to keep persisting with it. And, and, and trying different things and basically just don't don't take no for an answer so yeah some good learnings there and hopefully we'll get a few more and um, some more video all right we've got a decent one now but it's bloody definitely hard going today he doesn't want to give the jig back either but you can see in there the same again <clears throat> just going down to that smaller size like that's it two if he lets it if he's gonna let it go He's definitely not keen on it. There we go. So yeah, good one there. But going down to that size two is um, is definitely working. So and he's only uh, only by himself. So it would have been good to get some footage with some some more behind him. But we're only really finding you know patches of ones and twos, no no real groups. So but, um, yeah, we're, we're chipping away. And we're getting the, we're we're getting a few, but. Yeah, it's just one of those days. It's just tough, but you know we've got ourselves a feed. It could be, could be a lot worse. All right, we're back. We're back at Humpy. We did it, uh, did it tough the other day, and I'm not to, not afraid to admit it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you come over here and it just doesn't happen. But you know we persisted. We still got a feed. So, and um, yeah, we're back over here. So different day. So that was the lead up to the full moon. So now we're on the lead up to the new moon, and we're doing a um, a midday start. So. Different times, different tides, and uh, employ the same techniques, and we'll hopefully yeah. get a few more this time. I really want to show you what it's like to get onto a patch and what you need to do. So today I got Braxy, yeah. say hey. I got Kaisy, say hey. <laughs> and I got the old man, I got Dad with me. G'day. G'day. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple of new, couple of new squid snacks. This one, Daddy. Yeah, hold him up. Hold him up to the camera, mate. Hold that one up. All right. A couple of new squid snacks, courtesy of Secret Spot Yapoon. Ducked in there and grabbed a couple this morning, so let's get into it. All right. <laughs> We're straight into it. I haven't ever had time, but we've got squids on. All three, all three are hooked up. We're just getting ready. I don't know whether the camera can see that, but there's probably another three or four out the back there, so we've got this one over here. This oh one over god. here there, that looks oh good. Oh my god. Alright, so this is madness and we're gonna do it right oh. Who's coming in first? Me. So there's one behind me. dad's there as well. Can wind I, him in. Please. I'm coming in first. Alright. Braxy's gonna wind his in first. Oh. Alright, so we leave him in the water to, to keep the ah! oh. walk backwards. Oh my gosh, I think it inked me a little bit. That's that's Ooh. a All right. Ink. So there's one. There's one ink. All right, so no. One in there. Ew. It just got. All I right, got so ooh. we can see one's just here, yeah, and one. There's one in behind it there, so we just whoop. Don't do oh that. My gosh, look at all but we that cast ink. in behind this one, and he's gonna hopefully. He's on it. He's on it. He's chasing it. Bang. Do nah. He missed it. Here we go. I want here them ink on me. There you go. No. Nah. No, no, he'll come back. Just like I got here, grab me and then just pat me out and come back. Yeah, yeah. You don't watch my hand. Oh, just watch my hand. Is one still on somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Just hold him there, mate. Nah. He's, he's not interested. We'll go over the back of um. All right, you can see him. There's there's still a few there with him. So we'll flick this one. Flick this one back out here just to leave it sit in the holder. Sit him in the holder. Um. 
You just leave yours out there, mate. Righto, Kaisy. Walk back, buddy. I'll tell you what, they're all they're not overly big, but they're reasonable. Yeah. Don't ink me, please. I don't want to do Alright, face him away. Shake him. <laughs> and that's how you do it. That's a bit better. That's Why a better one. Always inking people. Alright. Dig out. Always inking people. I'm the only one, the only one on him, right? There we go, yep. Okay, right so Dad's got one on. So we'll grab Braxy's ear. And we'll cast him out the back and see if there's any more still there. So cast him in behind that one. I can't see any any with it, any more with him, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. There was um there was I can't believe it. straight away. You just threw that for something to look at, didn't yeah. Hi, little buddy. Right, so that's what hopefully we captured that alright, but oh. <laughs> Brax was good. But that's what the importance of that that leapfrogging technique. So you keep one in the water and okay. you keep that one in the water, you throw in behind them. Um and then that one that's the next one that's hooked it runs. And then you wind that one in, put it in the box. So we just got four there. A couple of couple of nice ones. So we've, uh, we've only been doing it today, like we did it all day the other day and we got four and we in the first three minutes we've got four today so that's that's what it's like so just keep persisting with it and trying those different techniques and we'll keep going hopefully we'll get some um some red hot footage today of of a big uh like a big group that's come up behind the boat and that's about the only time that like i say that's about the only time that a little tinny is better than say a, an offshore boat like this because you can put your electric motor down spot lock and stay and stay with them you know what I mean? So, um, but like I said, you come over here in your six, seven meter boats, and we've proved that you, you know, you can still do it even with the noisy old, um, noisy old Optimax. You can still, still get good numbers. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. Right. Got him. We're on again. All right. So Dad's got one there, and there's about I can see three or four in behind him there. So we'll just flick in behind him, nice and gently. Nearly hit him on the head. Nearly hit him on the head. Oh dear. Oh, I missed him. He had it. This is two or three there, you're right. Oh, come on, grab it. They've had two goes at it. Bugger. He had two goes and we had. This plug didn't muck around, he just went up and grabbed it. Yeah, I know. There he comes. There he comes. Yeah, they're still there with him. Oh, I can see. Yeah, it's about five of them. Four or five there at the moment. Nice light drags. So they've seen this this colour here now. We'll just put that in the rod holder and we'll just change colours because they've been pricked a couple of times with this one. So we'll just change colours and just see if we can outsmart them at their own game. These are being real finicky. Yeah, tricky ones. sitting there now. So we've got, so Dad's hooked his and he's just holding it there. Ah, yeah. oh, nah. <laughs> Jeez, they're bloody hard to call hook today. There we go. Yep. Nice light drag, let him run. So now Dad's bringing his in. We'll leave this fella. Oh, now he's um, putting on a show. And you see that all the uh, the ink from the squid, that's brilliant. You want them to do that. I'm just going to stick this one between my legs. Hold that one there, grab this other rod. See if I can get myself into a bit of mischief. There's still another one behind this one, if you can see that. So we'll just flick him in behind. And on the sink. Yep, now we got another one on. All right, so we got one on this one. One on that one, squids are on here at Humpy. I'll just wait for the old man to get his in. There's still squids with them, so if we're quick enough, we dump that one in there. And I'll give Dad this rod. In the box with the others. Give Dad that rod. So teamwork is is important. So I'll just lay that one out there and I'll just bring this one in quickly. 
the boys have uh, left us now. So we'll just bring this fella in. He's only a little medium sort of fella. So in the net, face it away, shake it, jig out, squid in, net up there. So the old man's still got his out there. I can't see any there at the moment, but we'll still flick him behind him. You're obviously hanging around that bloody rock, eh? Yeah, yep. Good so, day, Captain. Yeah, so we've just, where we originally got these squid here before, we found ourselves like a little bommy or a little rock, and they seem to be congregating around that, so. Um, so it's always good to take notice uh, where you hook your squid and um, and you know sometimes they'll be hanging in those little around those bombies or in the little back eddies away, I think we've drifted away again all right we'll get my good dad to bring this one in and we'll go back around and have another go but this will be so that's one two three four five six so that'll be number seven that uh, the old man's bringing in there now. And uh, we've been here about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, you reckon? So we're just casting here at the moment. So if the casting stops working or the squid move, we'll, um, we'll go to slow trolling and see if we can locate them again. So the old man's got one, got another one. So we'll wind straight in. And uh, we'll have a look where he is. A little cast in behind him. Hopefully there's a few more with him. So this is where casting accuracy comes in it. So being able to land it. There we go. Oh, ooh, that oh, that's better. That one seems, ah, oh, done him. Oh, no. See, that was come a nice, back, nice light drag and he's still pulled it so bugger oh there's another one there's, there's more with him yeah yeah see, you can see his mates we'll just wind this one in bugger that was a big one and we'll uh give him a little flick over there in behind him Being, they are being, we're, we're getting them, but they're just being a bit finicky. being finicky, yeah. So let's get Dab to keep that one there. And what we're going to do is we're going to change our jig very, very quickly. I'm going to go back to the uh, two and a half, uh, to size two. Just to see if we can get them to commit, commit a bit better. I can't see any of them. I'd say they're gone, but you just never know. Just sink that jig down in behind them. All right. Oh, that's better. That's better. All right. So he's out the back. I'll get the little jig in here and. Oh. I went over the top of him there. Shit. Didn't muck around, I didn't feel him until he was going. Yeah, yeah. He's in right now. He's going. I can see him there, he's on me jig. Oh, okay. He's not grabbing it, but. Well, I was a fair way away from the boat when he hit then. Maybe, yeah. maybe try it a bit further, mate, see what happens. Yeah. There was one there. Oh, look at them, they're just here. Yeah. It's just one <laughs> right there. Right there. Let's just drop oh, this one yeah, down. Just come in and laugh at them. 
All right, all right. He just comes straight up and he wanted that. So this one's now running. Dad will now bring his wind his in. Hey, um, hey, one of the boys want to wind in a squid? You want to wind one in? Here. Wait, are we going for a swim? Hold on to that one, buddy. Just nice and gentle. Pretty, pretty here at the yep. So just hold on to him. Can I get him? Yep, so wind him in nice and gently. Wait, this is the squids. So Dad's got one on, he's bringing his in here. Now Kaisy has got that rod, just bringing that one in nice and gentle. And there's one behind Dad's there. He's a big, there's a big, he's big, look at the size of him. Can I hold Look at him. Oh, that's a monster. Hold him there, um. Oh, I didn't get the big one. There's a monster right there. So I got another one. He's still there, Dad. So he just cast out behind mine, mate. He's still with him. He's huge, that one. That I got. Nah, see him with him? See him out there? Oh. He's he's fighting this other one for this for the jig. Hopefully I'll get both of them. <laughs> so they're fighting at the moment, and I think I might actually have both of them. Hopefully Dad's bringing his jig in behind him there, but I don't know. It's just got real heavy all of a sudden. I think I've, I don't know how you're going to do this, but we've got two on here. One's a and one's an absolute. I think he might be just holding on to him. He's just chewing him, I think. Yeah, sure not here. He doesn't let go shortly, he's gonna pay a prize. Oh, Yeah, he's let go. Can you get a get a jig in behind him, Dad? He's ma he's massive. If Dad can get this one, he's huge. He is absolutely huge, that fella. Baxi, when you drop that, it's good to come there. Ah, he's going. Oh, just there. let it yeah, drop it. Let it drop. Yeah. Here he's on it. He's on it. Yeah, I got him. Got it. Yes. Woo! He's massive. That one Dad's got. He's huge. So we've got one on. We've got a triple hook up here at the moment. Let's give him a shake. That's oh, yeah. Jig come out. Yeah, Beautiful. Right. Put that out. Come on. Let them screw. All right, there's another one. So Dad's, that one of Dad's is huge. I can't see any more there, but we'll just flick it out anyway. All right, flick him away from the boat. Good squid, good squid, Kaisy. Give him a shake. Good squid. Yeah, we'll get some photos. Definitely get some photos. I can throw it out. All right, Dad. I think we're done. So, you want to bring yours in? You want to just get this big squid in? Holy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a, a big one. <laughs> he's a monster. Don't you let go. Watch your head, buddy. Yeah, go. Oh, well done. Oh my Someone goodness! Yeah, that's pretty pretty impressive. That animal. It might have been the one that you missed. Um, bloody same size. Yeah, I got the smaller one. Just he's not very no, no, well the hooked. One that's got off the I'm coming in just to see <laughs> the swivel and then I can control him with the better. Wow! Point him away. That's a Woo! monster. Now, that's what I call yeah. a squid. Uh, Hell yeah! He's it's been, a ripper. Oh, that is a big boy. Actually, no, no, stay inside. On the yammer. Mark. Look at that. Oh, Lee. And he was even a gentleman about it. Look at that in there with the others. This will give you an idea Look of how big dude. he is. Oh, that's Look at that dude. So compared to the compared to the other ones, he is a monster. He's yeah, yeah. Hey, just hold this for a sec, mate. I'll just hold him up. Just hold that. Point it this way. He's a beauty. Have a look at that. that. That's a squid. I'm holding it up for the old man, but that is a cracker. There's a good, probably a good couple of kilo there. Beautiful. Keep Oop, going. It's off, mate. Right there. Oh, I had one. 
Yep. Yeah, right. Bring yours in, mate. Oh, this one changed colour. Well, between the legs. You alright? They're all over here, mate, if you're um, yeah, quick enough. Just just here, look. Yeah, cast in behind there, mate. They're, they're still there. Yeah, perfect. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we got one on one rod, one on the other. And you got no hands. <laughs> no hands left. Hopefully the old man will hook another one here in a minute. I think there are any sort of mediums. Yep, he's on yours, Dad. Yeah, well, he's been following me, I'm just waiting. Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, straight triple hook up again. Um, Braxy, can you come and grab a rod, mate? Braxy, can you grab a rod? Quick. Oh man, there's... there's you right, there. quick. Come on. Can you just grab this rod, mate? Just hold on the rod. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Yeah. You got yours? Sign on it, Braxy. <laughs> Watch your fingers. Yeah, Watch your fingers. Watching. I was watching. Yeah. Yeah. There, there. Right. Just leave him there, mate. Oh, got it. Yeah, just leave him there, mate. Hang on. Let's see if there's any more with him. Uh, Alright, buddy. Warn him in. Don't point it at the boat, mate. Don't point at the boat. Don't point at the boat. So we, uh, oh, the sun's holding me, give me a hoarding. So we're pretty much done for the day. We've come over here, and it's yeah. only taken about an hour or so, and we've got our, I don't know, it's probably 20 or so. Yeah. Hey, show the show them, Braxy. Yeah, boy. Are you gonna clean them? <laughs> Ew, you have to clean them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll bag them, put them in a bag, and chuck Bring them in the esky. But um, yeah, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, you got something out of this video. Oh, and, You've seen the highs and oh, definitely yeah, seen the highs and the lows of it all. The boys are still excited, so we'll kick them out on the uh, on the beach for a bit of a swim. <laughs> if they want to have a swim and run around the beach, but yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Cheers.